Hi, today I'm going to be putting on a Freestyle Libre 3 sensor for the very first time. I have been wearing a Freestyle Libre sensor for about four years now. I started with the first version of Freestyle Libre and I do have a video of the very first time I put that sensor on and I was so scared it was going to hurt and it didn't. Then later, um, I upgraded to the Freestyle Libre 2, and that sensor is even better than the first version of the sensor because it can um, have alarms on it. So if you go too low or too high, your phone will set off an alarm which will alert you and any loved ones near you to um, be able to take care of it. I can attest to that. Yes, and it's a very, very loud alarm. Yes, it is. <laughs> But the difference between a Freestyle Libre 2 and a Freestyle Libre 3 is the 3 is supposed to be smaller than this one. So I'm going to open this up today and put it on and we'll see the difference in size. But it's supposed to be smaller. Plus, when you wear the Freestyle Libre 2 sensor, um, other than the alarms, you have to scan your you have to scan the sensor with your phone. You have to tap your phone to it in order to get a reading. But Freestyle Libre 3, it constantly talks to your phone all the time. So you never have to scan because it's always being scanned. And so you never lose any of that important information of what your blood glucose has been doing 24 hours a day. Well, let's open this box up. It's in, it's in two pieces. And that's because a Freestyle Libre sensor only lasts 14 days. So to have a month's supply, you get two boxes. And my two boxes are taped together. And I am going to tear open one box. And that's what it looks like. Ah, it's uh, the applicator for the Freestyle Libre 3 sensor is smaller too. And there's also some instructions in here. Okay, first wash your arm with soap and water. So it's good to do this right after you've had a shower and you've, you've soaked your, your arm. And then you're to do an alcohol swab. The Freestyle Libre used to come with alcohol swabs, but they don't anymore. So you need to pick up a pack of uh, alcohol swabs from the grocery store. But um, anyway, here's my thing. And you need to be really good and clean. You don't want to have any oils on your skin. So that way the sensor will um, stick on there and last you the full two weeks. So I, there we go. And then I'm supposed to let it dry a little bit. Fan it out here. And while that's drying, um, to open this, I just have to twist it. <laughs> wow, it is really on there tight. There we go. Twist it. Were you trying to twist it the wrong direction? Maybe. <laughs> okay. That's what the lid looks like. Okay. And my sensor is in this part. So this part I can put down. I think my arm's all dry. Okay. Then all I have to do is take this and on a clean spot of my arm here, <sighs> hopefully it won't hurt. The, <laughs> Wait. the Libre 2 doesn't hurt. Did the Libre 1 hurt? And the Libre 1 didn't hurt. So probably the 3 doesn't hurt. Probably it doesn't, though it does look a little bit different, but it's not supposed to hurt. So here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Hey. Not too bad. Is it on there? Yes. It, oh, look how little it is. And oh what are you supposed gosh. to do now? I'm just supposed to gently. No, you're supposed to feel around the edges of it. There you make go. sure it's all attached like a, yep. an adhesive. It's all okay. attached. Oh my gosh, it's so tiny. Let's see the comparison. I can't see it. Oh, it is different. One looks like a nickel and one looks like a quarter. Yeah. Wow, that is teeny tiny. To me. Okay. And then the other thing, um, 
you have to do is you have to um, go to your app store on your phone and download the Freestyle Libre 3 app. And it is a free app. And then once it's all loaded, it tells you to apply your sensor and click next. Um, touch the sensor with the back of the phone. Your phone will vibrate after successfully starting the sensor. Okay, so I guess I still have to do this for starting it. Hey. Okay. And it says um, not to take high doses of vitamin C because that'll give you a weird reading. And my sensor will start scanning in 60 minutes. Uh -huh. And it does the same thing, the Libre 2 and the Libre 1. It takes um, it takes an hour for it to um, to start up and, and know what your glucose is doing. But then after initially. that hour is over, initially. So all three are the same that way. And in an hour, um, I just have to be by my phone and my phone will always be regulating what my, what my blood sugar is doing. Reporting. Reporting, yes. And if it goes too low or it goes too high, it will set off a very loud alarm to get so my wait, attention. So wait, did it hurt? No, it, it felt the same. Just like uh, putting on the two and the Libre one, it felt the same. So, um, didn't hurt, didn't hurt at all, not a lick. All right, well, if you have any questions about um, about using your sensors uh, or anything about uh, type two diabetes, I even have a playlist, I have a playlist on type two diabetes. I also have a playlist on um, taking Manjaro, and that's a type, um, a type two diabetes medication. And I go live on Mondays and I let people ask me questions and I answer them live. Well, I hope everyone has a wonderful day. Bye-bye.